Despite the complaints surrounding the newly revealed trailer, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is undoubtedly going to make itself a pile of money, and they have now on board one of the more well-known actors at the moment, Kit Harrington, who of course is better known as Jon Snow or Jon Snow in Game of Thrones, and he's going to be playing the villain in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Basically, he's pulling a Kevin Spacey. I have a statement here from the narrative director of Infin uh, sorry, Infinity Ward, and his name is Taylor Kurosaki, and he said, quote, Kit is an amazing talent and the consummate pro. Our story is about an epic showdown of opposing forces, and Kit immersed himself into the role and truly became an embodiment of the enemy, the settlement defence front. We can't wait for fans to see Kit play an entirely different kind of character. Interestingly as well as that director Guy Ritchie, who of course is best known for Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, will be quote unquote lending additional support to the narrative, but it's unclear if he's actually just directing the cutscenes or whatever. However, he did helm the Black Ops 2 surprise ad, however. Now I've got a bit of a statement here from the studio head Dave Stoll and he said quote Guy Ritchie is a friend of the franchise. It was great to have him back to work with us assisting in bringing Kat Kit Harrington's character to life in Infinite Warfare. It meant a lot to us to develop into the role, sorry the role into everything it could be. We're excited about the performance Kit delivered. I can't wait to get it out to the public. We're committed to delivering a compelling story with rich character depth and this was a special opportunity to add to our fantastic cast. Here's hoping the first real scene that he's in isn't kind of ruined by a press E to feel like we had with Kevin Spacey. That just made me burst out laughing, if I'm quite honest. But uh, we'll see. Kit Harrington definitely has a lot of talent, and it's going to be interesting to see how exactly he is used for the upcoming Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Hopefully, he brings his A game and it will help elevate the game even further. Obviously, I haven't played the game even slightly, it's not really my cup of tea at all. But it's still going to be interesting to see how exactly another big game actor fares in the waters of Call of Duty. So let me know your thoughts and opinions as always guys, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.